I have always been a massive fan of Ruger 1022s and I've built several over the years. Done like tactical ones, I've done real lightweight ones for speed steel, real short ones, legally short by the way, well legally long enough. Um, and so yeah, I've got quite a bit of experience with Ruger 1022s, what with tinkering them, upgrading them, doing stocks. This, that and the other, creating my own builds. You can see them in previous videos, years gone by. But I happen to have one of these. This is the new Trek 22 from Desert Tech. Yeah, Desert Tech that make the Desert Tech bullpup rifles. And this is a bullpup uh, stock for the Ruger 1022. And I've got to admit, I do like the look of it. So I'm gonna sort of show you, show you the box and get it out of the box. And don't worry, I've got one built already to show you, but let's just take a look at this thing. Now it is all polymer, uh, the stock is, but the box that it comes in is pretty, pretty cool. Um, they, I th believe this is Desert Tech's first go at doing um, a stock like this for the Ruger 1022. So that gives you an idea. So it takes your Ruger 1022 from that to that basically. All perfectly legal as well here in the UK. Um, I'm sure it will be in other countries and stuff. But the box is pretty cool. It tells you um, basically, you know, how your Ruger 1022 could look once it is fitted in one of the stocks. Now, with it being a bullpup uh, configuration, the first thing that springs to mind is, oh, the trigger's gonna be horrible. Do you know what? The trigger is pretty good, as we will have a look at in a minute. Now, apparently, on the box, it says improved trigger. Well, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Integrated Picatinny rail, M-Lock compatible, extra magazine storage, installs in minutes, um, yeah, about 25 minutes it took me and it ex accepts standard magazines and large magazines as in like 25 rounders i've not tried one of the um the drum mags the 100 round drum mags i've yet to do that but hmm stand by for that one but anyway let's take it out of the box and have a look and see exactly what you get now this one is obviously brand new, it's still sealed up. Now what, before I show you that, I'll show you the back of the box, because it, it is pretty cool. It basically shows you how to actually install. So obviously you take your Ruger 1022 action out of the stock and put it in here. And what, what basically holds it in is your um, trigger group pins. You replace those with the ones that are supplied and it's basically you just it's two two halves basically let's let's move that box out of the way but this is it okay and if you look inside you can see how the trigger works um it's sort of oh do you know what we're just gonna have to break it open aren't we it's easier to show you that show you than it is to uh, to explain and of course this tape is stuck there we go so let's break this open and show you. So that is your trigger mechanism there. It's not obviously fitted properly uh, yet, but that's the metal bar that incorporates the trigger. And all that does there, that bar there, is pull the existing trigger on the Ruger 1022 once the action is fitted in there. That is all your... Um, Iron mongery, all your fittings and screws and whatnot to uh, basically put this thing together. Now, what I'll do, because in Blue Peter fashion, I have one ready done, one I made earlier. Let's just get rid of that into the box. So you kind of get the idea. It's two sections, it's two halves basically. It's all polymer, it feel, feels tough polymer. Yeah, the uh, color, well, it's kind of like a blank canvas. I guess you could pretty much just hit that with whatever colour you want. Um, camo job, whatever. But let's get rid of that. We don't want that either. Move that out of the way. And let's show you one 
I made earlier. There we go. This one is a, this actual Ruger is a target laminate Ruger that we put in um, this Desert Tech Trek 22. And we also put, because it's got a shorter barrel on the uh, target laminate, we were able to incorporate a RCC 22 rimfire moderator, which gives it a real cool look. That is so cool. And basically that is it. Threw on a Vortex um, CR, CR2, I think that is, yeah, CR2 spark the solar spark basically chuck that on so that is really cool so red dot sight on the picatinny rail not bad at all now what i'm gonna i've got a little gripe guys first of all it's not ambidextrous because it's a ball pop so lefties need not apply but i found this obviously i've shot it uh, right-handed I find it uh, just a, it's a it's cool it's certainly different it takes some getting used to but the grip is it's kind of weird it's almost like you don't know what to do with your thumb you've got to rest your thumb on top but I don't know it, it's different I'm just going to say it's I'm not going to criticize it it's different myself I kind of would have preferred a pistol grip but I guess They've done this just to keep it super, super sort of, I don't know, sleek, basically. It's just, it's, it's just a bit of a weird design. It feels, it feels odd to start with, but after a bit, you do get used to it. But yeah, I had to shoot, shoot this uh, right-handed. I've only put a few rounds through it just to see what it was like, mainly into my bullet trap here in the Rat Cave. Um, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a Ruger 1022, so you know it'll it'll do exactly what it says on the tin. But let's talk about this stock. So once once it is put together, it is a a pretty rock solid um, stock. It's easy to put together because these are your trigger group pins that are obviously you get the the bigger ones with the thread, which basically lock up to these um, nuts on on the other side there. In fact, I need to tighten that one up. So that is really cool. All the all your controls are the same. Your safety catch, um, you cock it as as you would, you know, a, a normal Ruger 1022. As you can see, you've got magazine uh, storage here. Oh, I won't get that out, but you get the idea. Um, everything, like I say, everything works as it would on a normal 1022. Obviously, the trigger is a little different. It's further up here, so. Trigger pull feels all right. It, it doesn't feel any different apart, apart from obviously the trigger blade. The trigger blade is metal. It's, I don't know, it's finished a little bit, a little bit rough, I think the trigger is. Now let's just give that trigger a pull just to see what it is like. Now, believe it or not, the higher grade trigger or the better the trigger you have in there, you will obviously feel this end you know so if it's a crap trigger you're gonna feel it that end does it really make any difference the bar it does a little bit in feel but it's still still a decent trigger obviously whichever one you put in your Ruger 1022 um, you, it's still gonna be as light as the trigger that's in it it's not gonna make a lot of difference the um, the mechanism on this so let's just pull that so, I mean, that's two pounds, 12 ounces. It is a little bit of a different feel. There's, there's no denying it. It's just to give it a pull. It's still super light. It's just that straight blade. You know, it's what you, it's what you, what you want, what you prefer. I think, I do think they probably could have done a better job of that trigger. I don't know, but it feels all right. So I've, I've not really got any complaints as far as that goes. M-lock uh, slots on uh, the four end here in the three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock position so you can add on accessories. Like I said, you've got this long bit of uh, Picatinny rail here 
which is nice. So plenty of room to throw on an optic. Cut out there for the um, model and serial number of your gun. That's really cool. And there is a QD mount here as well. Recall pad or butt pad, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just molded sort of texture on the polymer as well. Desert Text logo there. I think this would look really cool in a different color. I think someone who likes their Ruger 1022s, this stock is going to be a real cool project because it's in this gray, it's a blank canvas. I think someone is going to do a cracking job on one of these uh, sooner or later. Your pistol grip, I'll say that is, that's just a weird, it's just a weird, ergonomics of that I find a little bit odd but like I say you do get used to them after a bit I think what it needs ideally is like a on a pistol like a gas pedal almost to put your thumb it, it just feels putting your thumb on there feels a little bit weird it, it's almost like it's begging for a gas pedal I don't know but no it's it's interesting <laughs> it's interesting with a shorter barrel and thrown on a can, it gives it a real cool profile like that. So that is really, really nice. It just just gives it the cool factor. I mean, obviously you throw on whatever scope you want, but to keep this thing ultra lightweight, which the stock is, and keep it as sort of pointable. And let me tell you guys, this thing is really pointable. Certainly an option for like speed steel, disciplines like that um definitely but no i do like it i'm not i'm not sort of criticizing it at all I, it just the, the ergonomics just feel really different to what you might be used to it's 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 odd it's odd to start with at first you'll be like mm, i don't know and like i say lefties it's not one for you unless you want a face full of brass but no guys the desert tech trek 22 stock for the ruger 1022 it's pretty cool and i think it'll be an excellent project for someone that is into their ruger 1022s it's just a, a just a blank canvas for it's just begging for some some cool colorations some camo or whatever it's absolutely begging for it but no it's an interesting one guys um, and that's what I love about 1022s. They are the Barbie dolls of rim fires. You can dress these things up however you want. But yeah, cool. Anyway, guys, I am going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. That is Rack and Load. See ya.